Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Pat Sun and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash relationships where OP heard his wife saying something truly heartbreaking. Let's begin. My wife told her friend she doesn't love me more than her ex and that I was her second choice. Posted by Reddit user Even Roof. Hello Reddit. Thanks for coming by because I certainly need all the help I can get. I've spoken to some of my closest friends and family about this and the opinion is pretty mixed, so I figured I'd come here to get a more impartial opinion. I'm devastated Reddit, and I don't know what to do. Here are the facts. My wife, Sarah, is the love of my life. She's a woman of charm, grace, beauty, and accomplishment. I met her through mutual friends six years ago who thought that we'd be a good fit. At first Sarah didn't seem to be too impressed with me, but as we chatted, she warmed up to me and we even exchanged numbers. We went on a date and had an amazing time that turned into another date, which turned into us dating and then eventually marriage. Sarah is such a warm, caring person who helped me through some tough times and was always there to pick me up, dust me off, pat me on the back and help me forward. I thought she would be the woman I'd raise a family with and grow old together with, but maybe that isn't the case. Last week I was clearing our driveway from snow. When I came back into the house to take a piss, I overheard a phone conversation between Sarah and a friend of hers. Our house is very echoey and I don't think she realized I was in the house because she thought I was still clearing the driveway. Recently her friend broke up with her long-term boyfriend because she didn't feel like they were a long-term match. That's when Sarah said unprompted and I quote because it was burned into my brain. I mean it's a good thing you did this now, you don't want to end up with your second or third option like I did. I swear I thought she was joking, but from the tone of her voice, I could tell that she wasn't. Something told me to pull out my phone and record, so I did. The conversation continued with her saying, he's not the love of my life, but I do love him, and I guess the most damning of them all, if Paul, her ex, wasn't so terrified of marriage, I'd probably still be with him. She did conclude by saying that she really did love me, but it wasn't head over heels love, and that she thought I was a great husband and would be a good father someday. I have this all on recording. I was confused and flustered in that moment that I forgot I had to pee and went back outside to continue clearing the driveway. Inside I was destroyed, I felt like a zombie just going through the motions. When I finished up, I went back inside and I finally looked at her and I just felt empty. She smiled at me but I didn't give her one back. She asked me what was wrong, so I just told her I was sick. That night I just stuck to myself and didn't say much. The next day over some beers, I asked my best friends in the world what they thought of the recording and they immediately said to divorce. My friend, Ashley, said if a woman admits that she doesn't love you more than her ex, there's nothing more to say. A day later, I brought this to my sister and parents who took the opposite approach. They said I should listen to her words carefully, and that she said she does love me, that she chose to commit to me and that even though I'm not her soulmate, I shouldn't take commitment and an admission of love so lightly. I've been faking being okay at home Reddit, and I don't think I can keep up the act much longer. She's been extremely suspicious since that day and constantly asks me if anything is wrong. I have no idea what to do, but I know I need to make a decision soon. Can you guys see anything here that I can't? Should I give Sarah a chance? Do you think she really loves me? TLDR. I accidentally overheard my wife saying I was her backup option. Probably wouldn't be with me if X would commit and that I'm not the love of her life. OP. I don't understand why you're having such a tough time on this. Because your family was correct. You should analyze her words very carefully. Here, let me translate it for you. If Paul, her ex, her true love according to her, ever decided to return and said he messed up, he wants to get married or just pursue a relationship, she would drop you like a sack of potatoes. Get your head out of your ass. And now for today's second story. Am I the asshole for not getting my daughter a car after she publicly disrespected me? Posted by Reddit user Outrageous Pen. So last week, me, my wife, and two kids went out to the zoo for my daughter's 23rd birthday. We were having a great time. While leaving an enclosure, some woman sort of cut us off and pushed in front of us to get out first. She didn't actually touch us, and it wasn't that big of a deal but was a little obnoxious, and I said there's no need to push ahead love. She responded with something like how did I push ahead, it's not like there's a cue. I just tutted and thought whatever, not worth it. But then some giant guy, who was apparently her son, I didn't realize this because they looked very different, she was white he was mixed, not that it matters, said to her, what does someone have a problem mum? And she pointed me out. 
Her son then turned around and started aggressively antagonizing me for no reason, telling me to keep my comments to myself, called me a bitch, a Karen, and he kept calling me tiny, saying I had little man syndrome. Just really off the wall stuff for what I thought was a benign comment. Then for some reason my daughter felt the need to take up for this guy and started saying stuff like why are you like this, why do you feel the need to say something, and then started apologizing to the guy and agreed with him that I'm a Karen. I was really taken aback by this. Then the guy asks how old she is and she tells him, and he asks for her number and she gives it to him. He hands his phone over to her and she types in her number the whole time this guy is staring at me with a shit-eating grin on his face. When my daughter comes back over to us, I ask her what the hell was that and she just says, what? He's cute, and you need to be put in your place every once in a while. I said since that's what she thinks, she can buy her own car for her birthday. She clearly thought I wasn't serious because when she asked if we could look at cars, and I told her she can look herself because I'm still not paying for it. This has divided my house, with my son taking my side, saying she was out of line, and my wife saying it's not worth ruining my relationship with her over. I feel like if not getting her a car as punishment is enough to ruin her relationship with me, then I probably spoiled her too much anyway. She already has a car that I bought her two years ago which works fine, so it's not like I'm exactly depriving her. Am I the asshole? I am at work on my lunch break right now, so I can't really reply. I have skimmed the comments and will address a few things I feel relevant. The car I bought her two years ago was a runaround Fiat 500, second hand. It is in fine shape but not exactly the nicest car. I had promised my daughter an Audi as my son is going traveling for his 21st birthday which I am paying for. The car she wanted was roughly the same cost. She doesn't live at home. She hasn't since she moved out for university at 18. I don't feel like I am a Karen, but I'm not shy to speak up and complain if I feel I must. If people are rude or something is not up to my standard, I will happily say something. I realistically couldn't beat up the 6 feet 4 or whatever 20 something year old mouthing off to me. I am 47 years old and have worked an office job for the last 20 to 30 years and have a bad back. Now for OP's first update. So I got home about an hour ago and my wife called me into the room to talk. She gave me an ultimatum. She said I can either swallow my pride and buy my daughter the car or she will buy the car out of her own money. My wife doesn't earn as much as me but still has a well-paying job and can afford it. She said that everyone is sick of my attitude in public, that every time we go out, I get in some sort of altercation or disagreement with someone over some petty shit. I think this is a gross over-exaggeration, but my wife showed me texts from my daughter asking if she can go out with just my wife because I always do something to embarrass everyone. My wife refused and defended me, saying that's not true, and that's why when I got in that argument, my wife said nothing about my daughter's actions. She said she isn't going to punish my daughter because I can never keep my mouth shut, especially when my daughter said she didn't want me there because something like this would happen, and she defended me only to be made to look like a fool. She says that my daughter barely likes me as it is, and if I do this, I shouldn't be shocked when she stops talking to me completely. I asked my wife if all I am to my daughter is a piggy bank, and she told me to stop playing the victim. She said it's up to me what I do with my money, but my daughter will be getting the car one way or another, so I can either make her hate me for no reason, or I can swallow my pride and get her the car myself. I don't really know where to go from here. Now for OP's second update. Sorry I didn't really respond a lot happened yesterday. After everything I called my daughter and over because I wanted to talk about everything. My wife said to just let it go, but clearly everyone had a problem with me that I didn't know about so I wanted to get to the bottom of it. So I waited for my son to get home and my daughter drove around a little later. We all sat down and decided to talk. I started by doing what many of you suggested and asked for actual examples rather than just accepting their word for it and honestly a lot of it sounded ridiculous. The fact that I sent back a steak twice because both times it was undercooked, as if it's a crime to want a 180 pound steak cooked correctly. The fact that I argued with someone who sat in our assigned seats at a cinema even though it was nearly empty. Again, as if it's a crime to want to sit in the seat I paid for when there's dozens of other places for these people to sit. And other equally silly things which I can't be bothered to get into and don't even really remember as a result of the insignificance of it. Despite me thinking that it was all ridiculous, I said I would do my best to be a meek pushover in public if that was the only way to get them to like me. And that I would get the car on one condition, that my daughter hadn't actually texted the guy who abused me. I asked to look at her messages, and she said not to even bother, because she had texted him and I didn't have the right to control who she talks to. 
I said that is true, but I do have the right to spend my money on whatever I want, and I'm not getting my daughter a car. She has one that works fine, and even if I am an ass, in a situation where her family is getting threatened, she sided with the aggressor and then doubled down on that and that is unforgivable. My daughter blew up at me and said that I am a petty little pig-headed man with a Napoleon complex and that all the money in the world hasn't stopped me from being a fucking loser. I said oh yeah, because the guy who screams at old men is such a winner. And she screamed at me that I'm not a victim and then something about how cathartic it was to watch someone stand up to me and that how the second he did, she watched me shrink back into the little bitch I'd always been growing up. That was the last straw. I told her to get out, but she doubled down and told me that my wife had told them about me being bullied growing up, and that that was why I am the way I am. I saw my wife turn pale as a ghost at this comment. This is something I confided in her in private. Clearly this is why my daughter stopped respecting me. Obviously, I wasn't cool enough for her or whatever. I was speechless, but my daughter carried on. She said, make a genuine promise to Jake he can still go to Cambodia and ask him what he really thinks. I just nodded. Her brother begged not to be put in the middle of this, but I insisted. All he said was, sometimes you can be a bit much dad. My daughter called him a pussy and just walked out. My son ran off to his room and my wife drove off after my daughter. She didn't come back last night. I've not heard from my wife or daughter since. I've called out of work. My son left for university without saying a word to me. I've barely slept a wink. I can't believe it. I'm a cliché. A rich old man whose family hates him. If I was lost before, now I'm genuinely clueless about what I'm supposed to do. And now, for OP's final update. Everyone has been asking for an update, so here it is. Though there isn't really much to tell. My daughter blocked me everywhere since she left. I did go to reach out but saw she had blocked me, I haven't heard anything since. My wife is staying with her parents and is refusing to come home unless I agree to individual therapy and family therapy, which I'm still refusing because I feel it is a waste of time. I know myself and I know my mind. So what I like to complain sometimes, that doesn't make me mentally ill. My son and I are probably the biggest update, I guess. We are falling out hard. He is blaming me for tearing the family apart by being stubborn. He says I drove my daughter away, and I drove my wife away, and I'm going to drive him away too unless I try to make it right with everyone. He is mainly mad at me for refusing my wife's demands to therapy. He is still living at home, as it is close to his university, but he says that if I'm not at least trying to make it right by the time he finishes, he will leave and not look back. It turns out the reason his sister called him a pussy is that he actually agrees with her more than he let on. He says that I'm a bully, that I bully and get condescending and rude to people in public, and then play the victim if anyone calls me out on it. He says I am rude to everyone, everywhere I go, and that I'm rude to everyone at home too. He says that I lord my money over people, and that if anyone disagrees with anything I do, I take it away. He said my daughter hasn't liked me since she was 16, and that she always talked about escaping me. He said she never even expected me to actually go through with getting the car because she knew I'd snatch it away the first time she did something I didn't like. Apparently the whole thing was a test. She had made it clear to everyone that if I did in fact snatch the car away at the last second, she planned to never speak to me again. My son knew this, my wife knew this. That's why my wife was so adamant on me getting the car for my daughter. That's why my daughter was so upset about me not getting it, because in her mind that was me finally killing the relationship. He also told me that my wife has defended me for years and years, that she didn't betray my trust, but she told the story of my upbringing to try and stop him and his sister from hating me. He said my daughter has openly said she should leave me for years, and that my wife always told her off for that, but now I've finally pushed her away too. He admitted he never thought she would ever actually leave me, but said he's proud of her for standing up to me finally. He also said he doesn't care if I take away his birthday trip, that he wants me to fix the family and that is more important than some holiday. I've decided I'm not going to take away his holiday, as that would probably just give them even more ammo against me, but I'm also not doing therapy. They may need therapy. I don't. I am fine with who I am. I like myself, even if they don't. That's basically it. OP, you are one stubborn man, I give you that. But honestly, I do kind of agree with your family. You sound exactly like a Karen. If your entire family is telling you that you're the problem, then you probably are. Look man, you need to see a therapist. You may have some underlying issues here because of the bullying from your past, but your family isn't innocent either. Get a professional to weigh in on this. 
Clearly, your wife betrayed your trust by spilling a very sensitive information, and your daughter is a 23-year-old entitled brat. God damn, what a joke of a family unit. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.